I look funny. <laughs> oh, God bless filming and working on the homestead. At the same time, here I am. Look how beautiful I am. Oh my gosh, this is a fashion statement right here, guys, isn't it? All right, here's what's happening on the Texas unicorns. Oh my Lord. I've got some carrots. Hi, Jess. I've got some eggs for my chickens. I'm going to let the chickens out for just a little bit since it's getting to be dusk. So it's about 27 degrees Fahrenheit. It has been cold all week long. And guess what? Why do I look like this? What do you think? Yeah. So Texas is having a winter storm. They said up to blizzard conditions. Guys, I moved from Nebraska because I used to always live in this weather. I was raised and born in Omaha, Nebraska. And so actually, okay, so I'm not necessarily freaking out because I'm used to it. Because I lived for, gosh, how old was I? I've been here three years and I'm, how old am I? 45? So 40. Oh, I can't even think. I'm so frazzled. I can't even think. Uh, 42. So I was 42 years old. Well, not. We moved to Texas. So they have like, everyone's freaking out. We were just at Costco. Lines galore. <laughs> There's like so many people. It's like Christmas. I gotta send this to your dad. Our Walmart in town was actually closed for two days because they had so many corona illness cases that they closed it down to clean the store. Okay, now it's like the flu. So yes, absolutely close down the store, get things safe. I totally agree. But then when they reopened today, everyone went nuts because the storm is coming. Today is Saturday. I'm out of breath because I've just been working literally nonstop for two days, getting everything prepared for our homestead, for our safety. I have been calm about it. Anything in the news, it's always hyped up, sometimes for the good, because they want people to take it seriously and have precautions. The biggest threat is if we lose power, if we lose electricity. We do have a generator. And I know, this is just so funny. You know, I dressed extra warm just because I hate to be cold. It's actually not, as you can see, that bad yet. I mean, there's nothing. There's no like sleet or snow yet. But I wanted to film this for you because they're saying this is historical. I want to be able to have this video for my children someday. They can see how fun their mother is all dressed in winter. And I want to just have this day to look back on as I'm sipping my margarita in the 105 heat here in Texas. We already had one big snow as I showed you in a previous video. I will put that link above, but now they're saying blizzard conditions. The temperatures have never been like this since like 1949. They're saying anything below negative one and it could be negative two with a windshield of negative 17. Now, here's the kicker. When we moved here three years ago in 2018, we drove our car in negative 27 degrees. <gasps> Not the windshield, but the actual temperature was negative 27. It took all that we had to even get to Texas, to sell our house, to sell our business. And then we finally get there and what a joke that was on December 27th. 2018, negative 27 degrees, stuck in Oklahoma at a gas station. We stopped my truck with 37 birds in the car, four kids. We had a U-Haul with us. We had a trailer with us. And guess what? My truck wouldn't start. 
because of all the battery being used hauling the trailer with all the bird cages for the rescue. We got through it just like we're gonna get through this. I'm gonna film the pieces that I can. Tomorrow's supposed to be crazy, cold, cold, like five degrees and um, raining. It's gonna have ice. Everything's gonna be ice. Texas is not equipped with ice. No one is used to this. They don't have a lot of salt trucks. Everyone's freaking out. They just had a horrible accident here in my city um, this week because of black ice that no one knew about. And it was a hundred car pileup. So we all have to be careful. The Texas road system is crazy here, so it's not meant for ice. So they are obviously telling everyone to stay off the roads. It's Valentine's weekend. We're gonna stay in. I bought some crab legs for the kids. I will film that for you too. I've got lots of work to do. I know I'm blabbing because I'm super warm, so I'm not even cold right now. But we're keeping the chickens warm. I'll show you our little hacks, our little DIYs that we've been doing that we are gonna keep all of our animals safe and we are prepared for then what to do next if we had an emergency where like the electricity went out, they're worried about the trees, the power lines with the ice and up to eight inches of snow. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Eight inches of snow, okay? Nobody has shovels here. Nobody has scrapers. Nobody has anything. And I did sell my snow boots. Actually, I didn't even sell them. I gave them to Goodwill. I kept them for a while and, oh, hi, Annie. Oh. You're in the video. Hi. So we're filming for this historic hi, video. <laughs> event that's supposed to take place. I've got this bottle of warm water that I'm gonna pour into the horse trough. Our party barn right here, which is where we get water for the horses and our barn it froze. We had this sink on. I'm going to set it down right there actually for a minute. We had the sink dripping so that it prevented the freezing last night. But um, yeah, somebody turned it off. We just got used to this and we forgot. And so it froze. So we're just making do with what we have. Hi guys. Oh, geez. All right, here, hold on, guys. I got a hammer with me. I got all kinds of things with, oh, geez. I don't need egg in here on my jacket. So, there you go, eat up. We have been feeding the chicks and chickens extra protein. They've been getting things that aren't actually as healthy as they should, um, bread, pasta, I've been adding in the chia seed and the kale and the greens. Here I've got some duck eggs. As you can see, they are enjoying. We're trying to fatten them up. We have kennels if we needed to bring them into the garage. They have a chicken heater. Um, we're gonna see exactly how nasty it gets tomorrow. All right, let me get my water. Look at everyone's so happy being out. <sighs> Jeez, jeez, jeez. These are challenging times, folks. You just gotta be prepared and get through it. Oh, here, I'm gonna give them some water. Come here, guys. Cause their water froze. Come here. Hi, Kiki. Look at The one fresh water. It's nice and warm. It's so warm, yeah. Your, uh, his little tears are like frozen in there. What do you want, please? Okay. Is that yummy? Oh, there's another one. I dropped it for you. <sighs> Who wants a carry? You want a carry? Oh. Do you not know how to grab that? Usually we cut them up, but I think they'll be fine today. You can chop it up yourself. Yeah, where's Binta? I need to get this one for Binta. 
She needs a carrot. Yes, yeah, she does, doesn't she? You guys are going to be just fine. Look at this thick fur. Look at that. Look at Rico. Holy buckets. Look at that fur. Nice and thick. Pinta. Where did Binta go? Oh, there's Binta. There's Binta. Hi. Do you want a carrot, little miss? You want it? All right. Here you go. You want it? Good hydration. All right. Next, I'm going to check for eggs. We already got some. Of course, with this colder weather, we have to get them right away. Here we go. Ooh. All right. Look at this. I love this. This is a chicken egg. Look how big it is. And I didn't bring my basket. So actually, <laughs> life hacks, right? Got a coat pocket. I wash my coat often. So don't freak out on me, people. Trust me. I'm OCD too. I'm very OCD with disease and all that stuff. So, this is just kind of fun. Makes you feel like you're on a farm, right? Put it in your pocket. There we go. You just, you can't run very fast and you can't forget about them. There we go. Snug as a bug, little ladies. And see what else we got. I don't see any in there. Lots of hay. There's our docks where they go. Get them some new food. We've got pine shavings and let's see if there's any in here. We put the water down here because the ducks are spilling it, obviously. We've got these little water things right here. They're not frozen yet. Probably will be. Actually, you know what? My husband shut off this. Uh, he shut this water thing off because he didn't want it to freeze. So, all right. So, in here is where our cats are. I just checked on them. As you can see, there is some ice forming on the horse trough. But we did not feel like we needed to get an ice de icer because we're gonna manage the old fashioned way. Normally, Texas doesn't have this kind of winter storm. So, hi Jet. As you can see, we got the uh, tarp. And Mr. Jet wants more treats. I gave him treats today. There is Pablo. Contact my phone. I love you too. So everyone is safe and sound. The tarp, the donkeys might play with. Ah, we put a tarp on the well water thing there too. Which, you know, it's gonna keep them busy because they love to screw around with that kind of stuff. Look at Rico checking it out now. Look at him. Donkeys are so naughty. Well, thinking they're going to mess with it. I mean, if I feed him now early, he's just going to stay in the stall, though. Hopefully. Yeah. That's good. Sorry, folks. You're not clipping. We're going to be coming back to close the chicken door. So. <sighs> all right, kids. Well, looks like they ate all the eggs. you guys soon. I'm going inside for a bit. We've got a long night and next day ahead of us.